Thank you, Noel's World of Cars, for suggesting this video. He's got a great series and is very supportive to this channel. Thank you for suggesting the title of this episode. Anyway, let's get started. Luigi's Log, Monday. Hello, ciao from Guido and I. We're making this video a log again to send to you all at the beach. We are going, yeah, yeah. Basically, we are we are sending you another one of these. Let me guy, let me know how your days are going, guys. Send us a, a response, please, Lightning and Sally and everybody else. Anyway, today was fun, you know. Guido and I, we did quite a bit of work. Uh-huh, uh-huh, quite a bit of work, and, uh, we just had one problem, see, Patrick Pace was going a bit insane, ever since I first met him, Officer Patrick Pace seemed a bit crazy, you know, he has this whole weird obsession with putting cars in the impound lot, but hardly going in sp over the speed limit, well, it got pretty crazy today, <laughs> very crazy, as he didn't realize that there was a race going on in the town, and, yeah, it was, it was kind of insane. Gooey though, uh, do, uh, show show the camera, show lightning, and everybody what happens. <laughs> the door's jammed. There's so many cars in there that the door's jammed. Anyway, uh, goodbye, lightning, and everybody else. We're gonna try and figure this out. We'll see you tomorrow when you come home. Bye. Man, this is crazy, Guido. <sighs> I remember when it all started just a few hours ago. It was even crazier back then. So, Patrick, you finally took Marcus Crankslar out of the impound lot, huh? I sure did, boys. Luckily. You know, he was speeding, it was insane. Well, he was using the boost tank. You don't need to put everybody in the impound lot. Oh, whatever, I don't need to hear your opinions. Just, just go. Oh, man, alright, we do have some jobs to do, right, Guido? See. Excuse me, have you seen Stanley? When was the last time you saw this, Stanley? I mean, I guess I'm a police officer and I should be helping. Uh, 1946. It's a, it's a bit of a long story, but, you know, I, I haven't seen him in years. How old was he when you last saw him? 90. I mean, he just kind of, he just kind of plopped like this. He went, and I never saw him again. I mean, this, this, this car came by, and they told me that they dug a grave for him, whatever that means. You're looking for somebody who died in, like, 60 years ago. Yeah. Have you seen him? You're ridiculous. Just, just go! Just go! Alright, all right, I'm gonna put posters up all, all around the town. I swear. Lizzie gets crazier every day. Well, I guess I'll just stay here, file a couple reports, just wait for more troublemakers to come on by. Have any of you guys seen Raul? Woo! There I am. <laughs> Try and beat me now. Wait, boys, hold on. Train crossing. Okay, let's continue into the town. So nice for Lightning to let us race here while he went on vacation. Yes, totally! The finish line is just up ahead! Victory will be mine! What in the... Hey! What's going on? What? What? Ah, ah. Yes! 
just up to uh just up to Elfin Pass, and then we'll w and that will be the end of the race. Then we'll win. Stop right there! You're all coming with me for speeding. But we were racing. Yeah, that's what they all say. So rule, so rule, whatever your name is. I've seen you around here a couple of times, so rule. You're always speeding through town because I'm a race car. The four of us, we were racing, officer. That's what they all say. Wait, come on, we can explain. And nah. Oh, the days work for a Radiator Springs police car. Yep. Good though, I think he's gone mad. Get him! Wait, what? Wait, let go of me, little forklift! Let go of me, Guido! Let go! And... No. Wait, let go of me! Okay! All done!